Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can use macros in CSGO. So, you're going to need a razor mouse for this, and just to clear, clear this, you will not get VAC banned for using these macros, as they're not actually modifying your CSGO. All that CSGO detects is you clicking your mouse very quickly and jumping at a certain point. So these are VAC proof, and should also be Overwatch proof, because no one's going to ban you for either of these things because they are not disrupting the game, because it's not wall hacks or rain hacks. There's nothing like that that you can do in Razor Synapse. So first, what you're gonna want to do is, if you have your Razor Synapse in bot, uh, Razor Synapse um, downloaded, you're gonna want to, so you have your current profile with your sensitivity, your acceleration, and stuff like that. So you're gonna want to make a new profile and call it whatever you like. I'm gonna call mine Demo Profile. I'm gonna, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my sensitivity because I can't use the sensitivity. Okay, so now we've done that, um, we're going to want to go to the macros page, and we're going to want to create a new macro. So macro auto clicker. So what you can do is you can select the default delay. So all the guns, this will click all the semi-automatic guns at the fastest speed possible, uh, with no delay. So it, it isn't actually any, there isn't actually no delay between the clicks, there is delay. So, if I'm going to record now, there is the delay thing in there, it's about 0 point, there's about 20 zeros and then a 1, so it clips extremely quickly, it's just if I, if I was to do it on a Chrome page, it would probably lag out and maybe break it. So what you're going to want to do is once you've clicked your mouse down a few times, uh, you have this, you're not going to want to make your macro very long, so you're not going to want to have loads of clicks here, so what's going to happen is when you assign the key, so when you press your key, it's going to start clicking, and when you let go of your key, it's going to stop clicking, but if you have a huge long macro like this, when you take your uh, finger off the button you're going to bind it to, then it won't actually stop, and you'll still have, um, it'll still be clicking, because it'll have to finish off all these things, the orders you've given it so I'm gonna delete all of these and you're gonna want to make it very short maybe five clicks or so so next you're gonna so this is all done now so this macro is finished and saved so you're gonna want to go onto your mouse and find which button on your mouse that you want to bind it to so I want to bind it to mouse button five because uh, it's in the way it's on the side of my mouse and I can feel it when I'm playing CSGO so you're gonna want to click on that you're going to want to go down to the macros, you're going to select that, and you're going to want to use the macro you just created. So I just created this this macro, and you need to press play whilst the sign key is pressed, or all the other options won't work properly. So now you have that, play whilst the sign key is pressed, you have this. So now I'm going to show you how it works in CSGO. So I have my lobby open here. So this is my P2000, my normal clicking. That's, a, that's normally the speed I norm, I'd normally click easy thousand. So now here's the, the auto clicker speed. So that doesn't look that impressive on the P2000 because its max fire rate is relatively low. So Now I'm going to switch to the T side and use the Tech 9 and show you guys just how much of a difference it can make. So normally with a Tech 9 most people click like that sometimes I aim for the head to try and get quite specific shots but the best thing that I found for Tech 9 especially on cash is what you can do is you can spawn uh, come from T spawn you can go through a main you can maybe pick off a guy quad from some nice tap shoots but then you can get onto the site and you can use the auto clicker and it sounds like this So in my opinion, the Tech 9 there sounds more like a submachine gun than a pistol. So that, that auto clip will give you a huge advantage over it. anyone truck, anyone highway, and pretty much anyone. So you can just spam that and it's extremely fast. Really useful for a bunch of situations on most of the map. So now I'm going to move into the second half of the video where I teach you guys how to use the B-Hop macro. So installing the B-Hop macro is very simple. It's a lot like your auto clicker, but with this one, you're just going to need to download a file. I'll leave a download link to a media file link in the description below. So what you're going to want to do is download that, and then come to your macros tab. 
So I'm going to delete delete all these existing ones because that's the macros you'll be downloading. So I can show you exactly how it work. So you want to going to come into this tab. You don't need to make a new profile. You just want to click on these three dots and then press import, and then find where your downloaded uh, B Hop thing was. So th this is the one I'll link you to. Uh, you're going to want to press that and then press import. And when you click the drop down box in the macros menu, then there will be three different B Hop macros that will appear. So I'm now going to show you how each of the different B Hop uh, macros work. I am on Mac though, so some of these won't don't, won't actually work properly compared to if you're on Windows, where they will definitely work properly. So I can't really give a very good demonstration because I'm using a Mac, but I'll try my best. So all you have, so the easiest thing about bunny hopping these bunny hop scripts is you just press the button. Okay, I need to bind it. So you have this macro to you want to go onto this menu, select that macro, go to your mouse, macro, and B hop uh, whatever the one you've selected. So that was V1 I have here, and play whilst the sign key is pressed, just like the auto clicker. So, as I said, it's pretty hard to be hop on a Mac. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and use these scripts, but probably fail. Yeah, I failed. The only one of the three. So, when you import this file into your thing, it will create three uh, B hop profiles. Um, one of them, which will be B hop underscore 70 milliseconds, that will work on Mac and Linux. But from all I know, they will all only work. The rest will only work on uh, Windows. So I'm going to show you the 70 milliseconds one now. So the V2 is just slightly different from the V1. It doesn't really make make a lot of difference, but the V2 can be more consistent. But the V1 is best if you're just starting out because it will make you have to uh, strafe properly. And then uh, the V2 is just when you master strafing. So. So what happens now is that you're thinking, how am I strafing like this? So it's really very simple. So when I jump uh, whilst moving at full speed and land, that's without strafing. I just jump and land. If I jump and strafe, sorry, jump and strafe, I go off to the off to the right a bit. So what you want to do is once you jump and strafe. Just before you land, you're going to want to change to the other strafe key. So that's the B hop key. So a forward, full velocity, press the B hop key. And keep doing this for a while just to practice that. So then you then you're going to want to add in the strafe and move your mouse side to side as you strafe. So you strafe to the right, your mouse goes to the right. You strafe to the left, your mouse goes to the left. And just before you and just before you land, you're going to want to change uh, the strafe and direction of your mouse. So, that was me B hopping at about 260 velocity. So, uh, that's just like 10 movement speed over the default movement speed. So, it's you might even think I'm going slow, it's just not going extremely quickly at all. So, I'm currently using the 17 millisecond one. Uh, it's not that consistent, uh, but it's the only one that works on a Mac. So, if you're on a Mac, try using that. Because it should work. But on a Windows, all the others will work, and you'll be able to consistently hit every B hop if you're strafing correctly. So, now I'm going to show you some useful commands, like what I have in the top right and top left of my screen. I have the FPS just in a while. So. On the top left to show your velocity so your default velocity with a knife is 250 with most pistols it's about 240 and with some smgs it's 240 or 230 and with the rifles it's a little bit less than that so you know you're hitting your b hops if your velocity goes above 250 but if it's below that then that means you're not b hopping or strafing properly it's probably your strafing because your b hops will hit every time so the command to showing uh, the thing in the top left is CL, sorry, CL underscore show pulse one, and that will just uh, have the helpful thing in the top left. So 
so I really ain't sorry. Don't make sense why you ask me for this macro is useful because of course you can bunny hop, which you couldn't do without. But remember to start with your knife out, not like I did there with my pistol. So you so you start be hopping with your knife. You can switch to whatever weapon you want, and that's how all those sparkles clips are made. So you have the macro installed, you're doing it, and it's just a matter of practice of using this. So the 17 milliseconds B hop, which is the one uh, that I'm currently using that is that works on Mac, um, you will be able to B hop on almost any surface, um, flat or like sloped, because what it because what it does is it spams click every 0.017 seconds. So you'll be able to be over most surfaces. So I'm going to use this as an example. I'm not sure if it will hurt. So that sort of worked, but not really. So I was only going about 250 velocity. Well, I suppose that's better than just jumping up it. Um, so once you've mastered the strafing, it's really that simple. You, you're, you're away. Because when I used a Windows computer about a week ago and used that script, it was so simple. You could just strafe, just endlessly, just strafe left and right, and you hit them every single time. Not what I'm doing here. So, once again, just to go over how, how you actually do the B-hops. So, it's, you go forward, then you press your B-hop thing, your B-hop button that you bound it to. I bound my, mine to mouse 5, as I have a Razor Death out of Chroma. And that's quite simple for me. So, I also have the auto click as some button. So, you start your B hop by kicking the full velocity in the top left uh, with whatever weapon you're holding. And then, what you want to do is press your B hop key and press one of the strafe buttons at the same time. Just, just before you're about to land, you need to press the left. Sorry, not the left, the other the other strafe key and switch the direction you're moving your mouse. So to start, you go forward at full velocity, you then press your B hop key and one strafe key at the same time, and you also move your mouse in the direction of that strafe key. So if it's your D key, then you move your mouse to the right. If it's your A key, then you move your mouse to the left. So, and then just before you hit the ground, you switch your mouse to the other direction, and then you switch from your A to D key or your D to A key. Um, I recommend that some people be hop like this, but it's quite difficult with these macros because they're built for um, straightly hopping, which is a term I saw from someone's video that's meant to be like this. But some people do be hop without scripts like this. It doesn't really work with these, as you can see my velocity is a lot under 250 and it's not really bunny hopping if you're under 250 velocity. It, um, it's still classed as bee hopping but it's not actually doing anything so it's also not classed as bee hopping by most people's standards. So that's all I can show you for bunny hopping, I wish you luck and if you have any uh, questions I can probably help you out in the comment section. Until we come back home.